Ace's gaming laptops have two massive problems, one of which can literally break your computer. Like, it, it, it's dead. Goodbye. But before I get too far into this, I do want to say that this is just what I have gathered from my own experience and research I have done. You can see my sources in the description, but I would encourage you to do your own research and not just take some guy on the internet as truth. Now this issue wouldn't just cause me to just throw away my laptop. I am happy with how it runs, but it would make me hesitant to buy any future Asus laptops if the issues I list today persist. Now the first issue and arguably most important issue since this is the one that can destroy your computer pertains to the battery plug is usually the first thing you'll unplug whenever you uh, take the bottom panel off your laptop to do some maintenance or repair or whatever else. And this is something every gaming laptop owner should do at some point just because these guys have huge vents on them, eat up a lot of dust, and you gotta clean them out once in a while. Now, most laptops have a design to where, for example, an Apple, in older MacBooks at least, when they were still repairable, I know that you just kind of plug the plug in and it fits snugly and that's it. Or if they have a clip to hold it down, usually it's you plug in the plug and there will be a plastic clip that comes down onto the onto the plug. Now Asus's design and mine and a few other laptops is different. So you plug in the plastic plug like you might normally with another laptop but it has a metal clip that goes sideways over it. Now the first and most obvious issue with this design, and there are others that are quite surprising, is that you have to have the plug perfectly flush or else the clip won't be able to go over it and hold it down. And this usually takes quite a bit of force and takes a few attempts. In my case, it causes the spark more than a few times, which is concerning, but in my case, the laptop turned out fine afterwards. But after the fact, I decided to do some research, see if this was a normal occurrence for late Asus laptops and if it was fine. Now on one of the spectrum, one user said they worked their computers all the time and that it seemed designed to fry the device. A pretty hefty accusation. But another user said they contacted Asus and they said that these sparks were normal. Another user said, it's how electricity works. Now to try to prove to myself whether it was normal beyond these results, I compiled a list of all instances of Asus battery connectors sparking, and there are a lot. Now, a first sign of how often this issue shows up for Asus laptops specifically, if you look up should there be a spark when you reconnect a laptop battery, one of the first results is a Reddit page it mentions that issue relating to sparking, but they do confirm down here that it is an Asus Zephyrus G15, confirming that this is a common issue. Now, on average, a lot of the instances of sparking I saw had the laptops turn out fine, but there were just as many where the laptop didn't. For example, this user said they struggled for 20 minutes trying to realign the battery connector, and when they put it back on, it sparked a couple of times, and their laptop is dead. Now, some users, because of this, are saying that you should leave the battery connected if all you're doing is cleaning fans, and you're not planning to remove the heatsink, and this is a route you can take. It just is dangerous if you accidentally connect something that shouldn't be connected, or something stupid like that. But if you are confident in your skills, this is a route you can take to bypass this part of the issue entirely. Another user said they recommended the iFixit toolkit to reconnect it, but it is a very poor design on Asus's part, and they have not seen this issue in 20 years of handling computer electronics. Now another thing I would like to point out, which I mentioned before, is this clip, instead of being plastic, is metal. Which is stupid. Because I'm getting also report of because of it being metal, it's sparking when you disconnect it because when you unplug it, it is right next to a metal clip as you unplug. 
if they get too close? Well... Now, someone contacted Ace's fans and they gave a series of steps to hopefully avoid sparking entirely while still being able to unplug your laptop. They say to drain or discharge the battery completely, either by leaving the PC in BIOS or just by using it. For some reason, leaving it in BIOS causes it to drain faster, according to them, which is very counterintuitive to me, but they also say the afterwards, assumingly to plug AC in for one minute, disconnect AC, long press power button for 45 seconds, plug back in AC, it will have a power white light for four to for five to six seconds. Go off to automatically restart. Once it windows loads, shut it down completely. Let it charge for six hours without turning it back on. I don't know what those steps are about. I would just do the first one and ignore the rest. But I'm I mean you could do all those if you wanted. I don't really know enough to say one way or the other. But even if this method did work, I didn't try it. There is another issue. Since it is quite hard to connect, the clip has a tendency to just pop off. And this has happened more than once to people. And the issue with this is a metal clip popping onto your motherboard will fry your computer every time. It will be dead. Another thing is the plug itself, the connector has a tendency to come off when people try to reconnect it because again, it takes quite a bit of pressure. As I can see from this YouTuber who specializes in soldering and repairing laptops. And the title of their video here says Asus ROG confusing battery connector that users love to break. And he does fix it, but one of the top comments are in the first day of purchase i managed to rip off the aces battery connector it is such a confusing connector so yeah this this connector is badly designed but i will link a video on how to disconnect and reconnect it someone did post one thank you as for what laptops are affected by this issue i did manage to put together a small list of ones i know are affected and these include As for 2023 models, I am not sure if those are affected, but I wasn't able to find any reports of this issue. I don't know why they would change the battery connector design, but it is possible. Now the second issue on this list pertains to... Now temperature is important because it can both affect your performance and the longevity of your laptop itself. Now when I first bought this laptop, I noticed that it ran hotter than i think it should have and there are other reports on reddit of similar complaints with a few asus models now i went and tried to find the root of the problem and thanks to another reddit user i was able to find the root cause which is power plant settings now most laptops like these results i have here from a microsoft service pro will have the minimum processor state at five percent and a maximum processor state at 100%. These are normal numbers. These are what it should be. Asus decided not to do that. So by default, if you check out any of these power plant settings and click change plant settings and change advanced power plant settings and processor power management, you'll see the minimum processor state plugged in is all the way at 80% of the maximum clock speed. Basically, what this means is even when it's not doing anything intensive, it can only throttle down to 80% of the maximum clock speed, which is absurd. Now, to prove that this is a bad idea, right now I'm on performance, which is my custom settings where I have the minimum clock speed at 5% of the total. And we're getting temperatures right now of 65 with a CPU fan at 1800 RPM. I can change this to, for example, uh, Windows, and you'll see the temperatures quickly climb. We're already at 75, 83, and the fan speed is still exactly the same. 81, 84, 85, and this is about where it will settle on Windows or on 
uh, silent as well. They'll settle at around 85 idle. Now again, I'm not doing anything intensive here, and the temperature is already around 82 or 85. Now let's set it back to performance, and the temperatures will quickly go back down, and the CPU fan will also eventually throttle back down. As for the setting I changed to get these better temperatures, like I showed you before, you go to change plant settings, change advanced power settings, processor parameter, uh, processor power management, and change the minimum plugged in processor state to 5%. Another thing you can do, you don't have to, I did it, and that is what they recommended doing, is turning processor performance boost mode to disabled. You don't have to do this, it might help, or it might hurt your FPS. Boost really only gives temporary FPS gains before it just thermal throttles, so that setting is actually hidden by default. So if you follow the steps of that Reddit user and go to Registry Editor and go to this location, and it has to be this location, do this at your own risk, you might change something that's unintended if you don't do this right. And you go to its attribute, you'll change it from a 1 to a 2, which is what I have it now. I'll have the link to the Reddit post as well as this address in the description of the video. Anyways, that's all there is to it. I hope that I was able to help you avoid getting an Asus laptop, or if you already have one, help it last a bit longer. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you all in the next video and bye.